nothing marks the arrival of spring quite like Macy's Flower Show. First started in 1946, this highly anticipated two-week event has grown over the years to include six Macy's locations and is attended by millions across the United States. It is how we introduce the season. Uh, it's something we've done for a lot of years. It's something a lot of people expect and look forward to, and uh, we embrace that. Today, each city show features over one million flowers, representing 40,000 species. We source all the plant material for the show, make sure it gets shipped here, and obviously then we do the install according to each garden's design. So the plant material that you see, the potted material, and the tropical material is sourced from basically every state within the United States. But what happens to all the flowers afterwards? Where do they all go? Uh, the smartest and most sustainable thing is to, to recover the pots, recover the material, get everything composted and use it for other purposes. This is the story of Flowers to Flowers, the journey of the organic material and how it is repurposed once the show ends. In 2010, Oakleaf was hired by Macy's to find a smarter way to handle the 50 tons of organic material left over from the New York show. Yeah, we're excited about the Oakleaf uh, relationship. It's a relatively new one for us. We worked with them last year on a, on a trial basis here in Herald Square, and this year we rolled the entire thing out to all six of our markets. Intelligent waste management delivers powerful benefits to our customers. It maximizes the extraction of commodities from the waste stream, it minimizes the cost of the program, and very importantly, it also minimizes the environmental impact. Intelligent waste management requires Oakleaf to coordinate multiple parties uh, to deliver the optimal solution. Obviously a very exciting project that we get to partner with Macy's on and consult them in waste and sustainability initiatives. For the move 50 tons of organic material, we really had to streamline this operation and it was up to Oakleaf to creatively think outside the box and how operationally we were going to make this feasible for Macy's and their special events team. How did Oakleaf do it? They brought together critical stakeholders and designed a closed-looped, sustainable program. It's a very interesting process in that all the organic material that you see here tonight will end up at Long Island Compost tomorrow morning. And Ireland Gannon, the designers of tonight's show and next year's show, very well might use that same product from Long Island Compost in next year's Macy's Flower Show. Oakleaf essentially created a flowers to flowers solution. It takes us about five or six days to actually install the plant material and arrange the plant material, landscape it, uh, and design it. It takes one night to take it all out. The flower show is an amazing event. When it's over, however, Macy's needs to be back in business as usual. As the logistical lead, Oakleaf manages this large-scale undertaking and guides the journey of roughly 50 tons of organic material at each location. When the flower show is over and those doors close, Oakleaf moves in with a highly coordinated team and in a few short hours, those plants are on their way to the next point in their journey. On hand is Ireland Gannon, to help remove the valuable plants, such as fruit trees and ferns, to be replanted in various public parks. But what about the 25 tons of organic materials that couldn't be reused? Oakleaf saw this as an opportunity. Metropolitan Recycling was called on to manage the transportation of the remaining materials to another Oakleaf supplier. Once the material uh, comes off the shelves, it's going to uh, head over to uh, our partner, uh, Long Island Compost. We're dedicated to taking material off a truck that might have grass clippings or leaves or floral waste from the Macy's Flower Show and processing it into great horticultural product and bringing it back into the marketplace. So instead of ending up in landfills, all the flowers from this year's show will, in the end, become flowers once again. The flowers that leave here will not be discarded. They are on their way to becoming engineered soil that will be used in public gardens, rooftop gardens, and possibly even next year at the Macy's Flower Show.